What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Yeah guys, another walkthrough intro. Uh, something new. Not really, five years later. We're finally here again in the remake of the Hoenn region and all that stuff. Yeah, COVID-19 has given us another few more weeks, maybe? Month? I hope not. Yes, it's given us enough time to actually make another walkthrough right here. Something easy for me to actually display. Um, trust me, guys, it, it, this this whole thing has been giving me such a headache because 3DS games, internet, and all that crud, it, it's just fucking annoying. So here we are in the very first game of, uh, or the very first episode of our Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby walkthrough. Now, mind you guys, after this introduction right here, it's going to be in Japanese for the first episode, mainly because in... The type of capture card I have right here for the American version, it actually needs the internet or the in-game internet to actually keep on going right here, you know, to actually let this whole thing display and all that stuff. So the very first episode will be me introducing myself right here to Professor Rowan or whatever his name is, Birch, yeah. And then after that, second episode and on, boom, American version and all that stuff. I hope so. I don't even know. So here we are. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call Pokemon. And this is the coolest part about Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is that, you know, it's an in-game within an in-game. And as you can see, we're inside the truck. Yeah, how in the hell do we land in here? I don't even know. And as you can see, this world is widely inhabited by Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times playing together as friends and sometimes helping each other out. That's, that's pretty good right there. Look at that. Look at the Pokemon and all 3D and everything. And sometimes we just uh, capture and battle them and all that stuff, but we work close together. In fact, we are still many, many, many mysteries away surrounding Pokemon. And I do research Pokemon to unravel the mysteries, but enough about me. Let's go right ahead and introduce yourself right now. Now, I do well, excuse the lagginess of all this thing. Like I said, guys, this game has been giving me a headache. Not just this game, but the system and all that stuff. It seems ridiculous enough to me that I have to do the in-game internet to actually get this whole thing going. So, what about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, let's go right ahead and check a look. Look at that. In-game choosing of what gender we are. As you can see, we got the boy version and we got the girl version right here. What we're going to do is I'm actually going to be going with the boy. And uh, will you give me your name too? I'm s Again, I'm sorry for the, uh, the whole lagginess right here. And, uh, well, my name, you guys already know. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. That's right. It's Raven. Now, you guys cannot see what's going on right now, but it is getting a little laggy. It is what it is. So I'm just going to press that start button right there. Okay, look at that. So you're a Draven! Yes, sir, I am. Ah, I see! You're that Draven! You're the one that's moving into a little root town uh, where I live. Look at that, it's all freaking awesome. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Are you ready? We kinda are. Your very own adventure is about to unfold. And uh, be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships uh, wait for you. So, come see me at my own Pokemon Lab. So here we are guys, we're gonna be going into the Japanese version right now. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the Japanese version of the Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough that I have. Uh, like I said before guys, it's only one episode, that's until we get to our daddy, that way he can give us our internet option right here. As you can see, we got nothing right now. Well actually you can't see, I don't even know. Yeah, so here we are in the car, in the, the back of the truck. I don't even know why we're here, but uh, apparently our mom doesn't like us. And here we are going into the, uh, into the Hoenn region. Brand spanking new, looking like a million and two bucks, and look at that, that's a cool Pokemon right there. The hell? What kind of Pokemon is that? I wonder. Okay, so, would you look at that? Our mama's looking at us and she's gonna be like, Hi Draven, how you doing? Of course, we will not understand what he's gonna say right here because it's all in Japanese and, uh, yeah, in-game internet. You gotta love it, right? Um, of course, she's going to be ex uh, telling us about the new region that we're in, the move, all that stuff. Our dad, of course, he, he happens to be the gym leader of the Petalbrook City Gym. 
And, uh, well, here we have a few mod jokes helping us out. You know, moving our stuff and everything while our mom is asking us, Hey, Draven, why won't you do us a favor and actually set your alarm clock on? And, uh, well, look at that. I didn't know Pokemon can actually speak people. Look at that. He says, we're done. Alrighty. Smell you later, buddies. Smell you later. And he's like, look at my muscles. Alrighty. Okay, so Mama's just asking us to turn on our alarm clocks and all that stuff. And, uh, well, now playing in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, there's going to be a few things that you can actually do. That is, once you set your alarm, you really uh, you really don't have to set it ever again. And it's actually going to go through the... Uh, it's actually gonna be on. It's actually gonna be on the real-time events right here, the real-time clock that you have on your uh, on your game uh, or yeah, your Nintendo 3DS and all that stuff. The only problem is if you try switching it for any kind of events, yeah, everything's gonna be prolonged for an extra day right there. So I wouldn't suggest you guys moving any or switching everything on on this. Yeah, Nintendo really has you. Uh, yeah, they have you working for every Pokemon you're gonna try and find right here. So as you can see. Mama's telling us to go look at the TV. Apparently, our dad is in the Petalburg City gym, and well, we just missed him. And uh, well, that was enough of that. So mom's gonna be like, "Hey, why don't you go to the next door neighbors? They they've been wanting to meet you for quite some time. Maybe you're gonna make yourself a new friend." And uh, well, that is exactly what we're gonna do right here. We're actually gonna be going straight to the uh, next door right here, and that happens to be the the or not the the house where our good old buddy May lives, and, uh, well, there's the mama, she's like, Who might you be? Oh, you're Draven! Oh, we have a daughter named May, and she's looking for a new friend, this, this, and that. Of course, her husband's at Route 2, and, uh, well, we're, we're not Route 2, but, you know, she would like to, for us to meet her daughter and all that stuff. Now, once we walk in here, well, hello, hello! How's it going, May? Damn! Don't you look fine! Oh my god, they really improved on this game right here, and uh, so here's our good old buddy May, and she's just looking over her notes and all that stuff, and she notices us, and she's, well, she's wondering who the hell we are. Of course, we introduce we introduce ourselves, and we just tell her that, well, we're Draven, we're here, we're new in town, wanting to meet you, and of course, she wants to become friends with not just Pokemon, but with, of course, Pokemon, uh, with people as well, so, you know. She's going to be asking us, will you become my friend, this, this, and that? Yes, I will. In fact, do you want me to become more than your friend? I don't even know. Of course, I'm just talking out of my ass right now. Mainly because I don't know what it says right here in Japanese. Like I said, guys, it's only one full episode. So now, we're going to have to actually follow her and follow uh, where she goes and all that stuff. And, uh, well, first and foremost, we're going to be going right here. And uh, this guy right here is going to be looking on, and he's just going to look at us. He's like, I heard some yelling out there. Somebody must need some help. Well, I wonder what it could be. If we go straight forward, right right out to Route 101, you're going to be hearing somebody yell out, Help! Help! And would you look at that. <laughs> uh, Poochiana is attacking Professor Birch right here. He's like, oh, hey, you, help me out. There's some Pokemon right there. Please use one of these Pokemon that I just have to, well, to, to stop this guy. But what if I don't want to? What if we walk away? Homeboy here is going to be like, hey, don't leave me hanging. Help me out. Well, might as well. Okay, so we have a selection with all three Pokemon right here. As you can see, the starter Pokemon of Hoenn, very legendary because they're, eh, well, in my opinion, they're the best, well, second best legend, or second best starters in all the series. As you can see, you got a selection of Torchic, the fire type Pokemon, Mudkip, the water type, and Trico, the grass type Pokemon. Now, every single one of you guys already know, I've already played Pokemon Emerald, and I chose Mudkip as one of my Pokemon starters. And in previous iterations, you know, I've chosen Torchic because, you know, I like myself, my fighting slash fire, fire type Pokemon. But I think it's time for a change right here because si since this is the remake right here, I do want to change it up a little. There is a, spe a specific team that I want to use for this game in particular. And uh, I think that, you know, the Mega Evolution will actually do well with the, dy the dynamic of the, the types of Pokemon that I will be using. So, our starter for today, and our starter for this walkthrough right here, will be Trico. Finally! 
finally! So for the first time ever, guys, in the history of this channel right here, we're going to be using Trico. And, uh, well, look at that. Poochiana ready to battle. And here comes Trico. Alrighty. So, we already know a few things. Trico, in this game right here, will only know Leer, Pound, and Absorb. And luckily for us, you know, it's a newer generation, so we are going to be using Absorb. There's going to be, there's probably going to be no need for any kind of, uh, for any kind of uh, potions for, as of right now. But as you can see, this uh, Poochiana right here is not going to give up so easily. So we're going to be going with the Pound attack. And, uh, well, here we go again. Another uh, tackle. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off. Let's go. Pound attack. For the win. Suck it, Poochiana. Alrighty, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so that's a victory for us right there. And, uh, well, he's actually forever thankful. And he's actually wondering who the hell we are. And, oh, wait! You're Draven? Oh, you're Draven from the Kanto region. Okay, so I'm glad that you helped us out and all that stuff. So come back to my lab. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be going straight to his lab. Look at that. That's all freaking awesome. Okay, alrighty. So, after helping him out, of course, Professor Birch is going to be talking to us about his goals in Pokemon. We already know he wants to find out every single Pokemon around here. And since we are playing Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you're going to be finding just a bit more Pokemon than usual. Uh, and, of course, he's going to be giving us that Pokemon that we, yet, we just used. And he's going to be asking, will you be nicknaming this Pokemon? Yes, I will. Now... I kind of want to keep it going with uh, with the good nicknames from animes that I've actually found out. And since Trico is actually a Pokemon that kind of evolves into like a, like a samurai kind of warrior, you know, like a he has his little uh, razor leaves right on his, on his arms, and then he becomes a powerful uh, Sceptile and all that stuff, I kind of want to nickname him uh, after another Ronin warrior that I've seen. So, yes sir, Rebob, we're going to be naming him Sage of the Halo right here. So that's going to be a good nickname right now. A very, very good nickname. So let's go right ahead and uh, put that on Sage of the Halo. So now we got Sai of the Torrent and Sage of the Halo as starter Pokemon. And, uh, well, he's going to be telling us that, well, that's a good nickname right there. And, uh, well, go to Route 103. My daughter's going to be over there and she's going to be waiting for you. She's going to be uh, doing some discoveries and all that stuff. And, of course, we're going to agree. We're going to agree to everything he says because that's the only thing we do know how to do. You know, run errands for everybody out here. So, that is exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to go right, right to Route 103 near Old Dale. And then, uh, yeah, take care of a business right there. So, give me just a sec. I need to take care of a few things right here. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we're back from this little break right here. I needed to go pee and all that stuff. But now, we're going to be going straight to Route 103. That way, we can actually locate May and uh, get... You know, get to our dad because, uh, yeah, we kind of need that internet and we kind of need to know what we're saying right here. So, here we are getting attacked by a Pokemon and uh, it happens to be a Wurmple. And as of right now, I am not, I'm in no position to be battling a Wurmple, mainly because it is a bug type Pokemon right here. Although, I probably should be battling uh, some Pokemon along the way because uh, I do believe she does have a Torchic. Since I do have a, tur uh, 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 since I do have a what you call it right here, a uh, a turtwig, not a turtwig, but a, a what you call it, Sage of the Halo right here. I don't even remember his name. <laughs> okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty. So here we are, moving along the way, and we're gonna be passing them by Old Dale Town. And before we move anywhere. This guy right here who works at the Pokemart will start you will stop you and inform you about the Pokemart, letting you know that hey you can actually buy some cool items right here. You know, like potions, antidotes, paralysis heal, um, Pokeballs, you know, you always need some Pokeballs. And uh, after doing that, he will actually give you a free potion. And uh, well he's gonna actually inform you about the Pokemon Center right here too, where you can actually heal your Pokemon for free. You see, guys, this is the reason why I'm doing this all in one episode. That way we can get rid of the tutorials and then speak speak some proper English along the way right here. So here we are, Old Dale Town, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and find some May. Now, my biggest issue is that my Pokemon is still at level 5. And if it has its elemental move, then they have an elemental move. So 
Yeah, kind of... I'm kind of worried about that, but let's go right ahead and battle May and see what's go going on right here. And as you can see, May is looking onto this puddle right here, and if that puddle doesn't remind you of anything, I don't know what will. And she's going to be saying, well, here's all the Pokemon that I caught at Route 103, and would you look at that, it's Draven! Hey! So she's excited that I got a Pokemon right now, and she actually wants to find out uh, who the best Pokemon trainer is. So here it is, guys, our very, very, very first trainer battle, and it's going up against our girlfriend, May. How you doing, girl? I do love the music. Oh my god. They, they've improved a lot on the music, the, the graphics, and everything. This is why I'm so excited to play Pokemon uh, Mega Ruby. And, uh, well, here it is. Sage of the Halo versus Torchic. One of my favorite Pokemon. Kind of a... Uh, Kind of scared of battling this guy right here. As you can see, it's using a scratch attack. So here we go again, another pound attack. I don't think uh, Absorb will do anything. So it's halfway. Here we go again, scratch attack. And that was almost a critical hit right there. So let's go right ahead and use this pound attack again. And uh, scratch attack yet again. Luckily for us, we do have a potion right here. So let's go right ahead and use that. What the hell? We have 11 potions? Wow, I didn't even know we were g I didn't know we were gonna get 11 potions. Wait, how in the hell did that happen? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Do we get one potion or 11 potions out of this? Because I, again, I didn't know what I, I didn't know that that was possible right there. So here we go, another pound attack, and uh, I'm just waiting for her to use her amber attack, and still no amber attack right now. So here we go again, one more pound attack for the win. Suck it. Look at that. I'm victorious, and uh, Sage of the Halo grows to level 6, and, uh, well, would you look at that. Destroying everything, and god, man, May, you look even hotter in, in this version than in the previous version. Holy crap. They really do a good job on this stuff, and so, as you can see, she's happy that we're battling and all that stuff. So, we're going to be going straight back to uh, her hometown, or our hometown. She's going to be healing our Pokemon first. So... Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going straight back home. That way we can get the Pokédex. There's no need to battle any kind of uh, strange Pokémon around here. We just... Yeah, we just need to run. And, of course, we're going to be finding May along the way right here. So, look at that. May sees us, and she's like, Come on, let's go, let's go! We got to go back! Alrighty. I kind of wish we went, went into, like, a transition to get back home without just going through through this whole like route right here so here we are back in new bark town i think that's what it's called i don't even know and uh well let's go straight and uh, talk to the man the myth the legend right here so he's happy and we battled and yes we had a good time and all that stuff you are a natural trainer and because of that we will be getting a pokedex and uh well i'm just gonna breeze through here guys because uh again we want this whole thing to be in english so, he's just going to be telling us that we need to collect as many Pokemon as possible, record them and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, along the way, we're going to be uh, great and all that stuff. As you can see, May will actually give us some Pokeballs right here because we have another tutorial going on. She's actually going to teach us how to capture a Pokemon, and now uh, there's going to be another method of trying to capture Pokemon right here too. So, let's go straight and, cap and, and capture our first Pokemon, I guess. So after we're done right there, I think our mom... Actually, we don't need to tell our mom anything. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> so before we leave, mom re realizes that we're going to be leaving. So, like, you're going to be telling... You're going to be leaving without saying goodbye to us? Maybe. Well, she's not angry at us, but she's going to be excited for us. And she's like, well, I can't wait for you to become a Pokemon trainer just like your daddy. And, uh, well, she's telling us good luck. And uh, she's going to be heading on her way and uh, yeah it is finally time to move on right here so now going into route 3 we're gonna be called upon by May right here and she's gonna be telling us about a new kind of a a new a kind of way to capture Pokemon right here be before we do anything she will actually give us a little option down screen right here and uh, well it will actually help us find some Pokemon uh, well it will actually help uh, help us find some rare Pokemon so, she's going to be teaching us how to do that. Again, don't speak Japanese. Once we get yeah, once we get to the uh, the American version right here, I will further explain everything for you guys. Now, let's see. 
As you can see, May is waiting for us. He's going to be telling us about the new the, the new way you can actually creep up on Pokemon and capture them. As you can see, there's a Poochiana. Now, if you see a Pokemon's head, tail, antenna, it doesn't matter. Uh, wiggling up like that, you will be able to actually sneak up on them and uh, you know surprise the hell out of them. Some Pokemon, you, well, there are some rare Pokemon that you can actually find by doing this option, and then there are some Pokemon that you can actually you know find some cool moves on them. Now. This Poochiana right here is a very special one because it will actually know a different move or a uh, different kind of fang. Uh, depending on what kind of Pokemon you start with, it will have an, an elemental fang uh, stronger than your Pokemon. So let's just say you have a Mudkip, it will have Thunder Fang. If you have uh, Torchic, it will have, I believe, Ice Fang. Correct me if I'm wrong, and then if you do have a Mud or a Trico, you'll have a, a Fire Fang right here with this Poochiana. So, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're actually going to be sneaking up on it, and all you got to do is use the keypad right here. As you can see, we're sneaking, we're sneaking, we're sneaking. Do not scare that Pokemon. And bam! We found ourselves our Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh my god, and there it is! A Poochiana. And like I said before, guys, this Pokemon will have a very rare move for you. And uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to try and capture it, because it's... It might not be one of a kind. It might be, might not be. It doesn't really matter, but as you can see, it has Thunder Fang. Okay, so I was completely wrong about the whole Fangs thing. It will actually have a Fang uh, weakest to your Pokemon right here. And uh, the goal right here is to try and capture this Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and use uh, this move right here. Absorb. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so... That took some HP, and uh, this guy right here is going to just keep on using a towel. So now, it's strengthening its uh, its attack right here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to try and use a Pokeball right here. And remember, we were given 10 Pokeballs. And uh, there we go. Come on. Stand the goddamn ball. Stand the ball. Stand the goddamn ball. Bam. So there you have it, guys. Our first Pokemon that we captured, not going to be on our team. It is Poochiana. As you can see, bam, Sage grows into level 7. So that's another thing that, you know, they changed right here in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire is that even if you capture a Pokemon, you will level up as well, which, make it, which makes it so much easier for you to capture or to beat this game right here. So I'm just going to... I'm not going to nickname this Pokemon. I won't even know what, it, what it's nicknamed, but there you go. That is how you capture a Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it right there for trying to, you know, capture Pokemon and and sneak up on them. So, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. And, uh, well, I'm going to try and breeze through the trainers and all that stuff. Because, again, our goal is to get straight to our dad in Paddleburg City and get our internet option. That way, we can start reading this whole thing uh, in English. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Wow, this is like a job all in itself, guys. And I think this is going to be like 30 minutes long or something. But you know what? What a better way to uh, just... What, what a better way to start off this whole thing than to just do it for 30 minutes and all that stuff. Now, we're going to be going into the next route right here. This is Route 102. And we're going to be finding a lot of Pokemon. As you can see, uh, you know, our little thing has triggered. And it will actually show some Pokemon right there. It will actually tell you what kind of Pokemon there is. My goal right now is to get through this and get straight to dad. So we're going to be battling everybody, teaching uh, Wally how to capture Pokemon, and then after that, just uh, be on our way for the American version right here. So here we have our first challenger, and he will be having a Zigzagoon, and well, Zigzagoon will be moving around just like, you know, a Zigzagoon. Zigzag, Zigzag, and all that stuff. So here we go. Absorb attack. Sage of the Halo. Look at that. And, of course, he's just going to be uh, moving around, tackling us and all that stuff. So, we're just going to be uh, doing our tackles here and there, our pounds, just to try and win this guy right here. So, anywho, guys, while I'm talking and while this is going on right here, I'm just going to explain a few things. Now, I get, I get that, you know, I've been doing a lot, like, I've done this before, where I've done multiple walkthroughs and all that stuff, and it's prolonged so many things. But trust me, guys, I have a handle on this this time uh, because, you know, oh, damn, that was a Pokemon right there. Uh, well, like I said before, 
I've had a, I've had a, I got a handle on all of this because I did record 40 episodes on each and every single one of my Pokemon walkthroughs, except for this one right here. So when it comes to recording and uh, releasing kind of Pokemon episodes, I'm, I'm fixed right here. That's what COVID-19 did for me right there. It gave me enough time to actually, to actually record all these episodes for Liquid Crystal to Pokemon uh, Black. Hell. You see, I just uh, I just finished Pokemon Leaf Green as quickly as possible. That was like the quickest I've ever finished a walkthrough right there. So, I'm actually very, very happy about it. And, uh, well, hopefully it's the same thing right here for Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh, of course, there's going to be a lot more into this game than any other game right here. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully we get this out in a, on a proper schedule and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't know. If you guys want to trade or anything or message me right here... I think he, I think he still can. Uh, oh, there, there's another Pokemon. I'm not trying to capture any Pokemon right here. So, if you guys are trying to trade or anything like that, just uh, yeah, I guess you can, you can get my uh, code right here. Uh, I, I, I actually will be releasing the code or my game code uh, in the next episode because this right here is the Japanese version, and uh, you know I hardly go into this whole thing right here, so it wouldn't be, uh, there wouldn't be no point in actually. Uh, you know, there would be no point in actually getting my, my code. I'm actually going to save those for the next episode. That way you guys know what kind of uh, berries there are. And uh, not going to battle you. I'm actually going to sneak by. Never mind. We're going to be found out by this lady right here. So there's going to be a few things that I won't do and a few things that I will do. And here we have Lass. And she's going to be taking on us. And she's going to be coming out with one Pokemon. As you can see, all Zigzagoon and all that stuff. So here we go. Sage of the Halo. Look at that. So, let's go right ahead and uh, use our pound attack, as always. And, uh, well... Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, so... I think we should just use an absorb attack, you know, just to make sure that we don't get, uh, eliminated like that. And don't waste a potion, look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, and there we go. No more Zigzag Goon. And, uh, well, he's back at level 9. So we're making progress, and he's learning a new move, which I don't know, which I will find out eventually. So, there you go, another victory for us, and uh, that is that right there. So, I'm going to save everything around here for a little bit later. Uh, well, here we have May, and she's going to be explaining to us that, you know, you're going to be going into Petalburg, and the adventures and all that stuff, yada yada yada. But before we move anywhere, look at that. We're going to be seeing some Pokemon fly away right here. Look at that. Oh my god. That is beautiful right there. That is a beautiful sight. Some uh, beautiflies just flying away. I, I, I swear to god, this game right here, I, I think, it, I think it, it is becoming my favorite game because just because of the Pokemon you can find right here and just uh, everything else. I know that I said Soul Silver and Heart Gold are my favorites, but I think this one's easily overtaking it right there. And, uh, well, now she's letting us go into Petalburg. And, uh, that is exactly what I'm gonna do right here. Is I'm going straight to the Pokemon Gym because that's where our daddy will be at. And look at that, he's waiting for us. And he just got done with a Pokemon trainer right here. He just got done laying the smack it down on this candy ass. And, uh, <laughs> wow. He's very blunt. And he's telling them that, you know what, with more training, you will be able to actually keep up with me. But as of right now, do some more training. The wisdom that my daddy has. Not like my real daddy right now. My real daddy is uh, paranoid of this whole COVID-19. Even though, you know, it's whatever. But, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I bet everybody's a little paranoid of that. So as you can see, we're here with our dad. And he's telling us that, oh, you finally moved in and all that stuff. Okay, well, uh, let's go into the gym. I need to talk to you about a little something right here. And, uh... One being that, hey, this is my Pokemon gym. One day you will take this over, and uh, you will be the strongest that you'll ever be. But right now, if you battled me, I will crush you. So make sure to train your Pokemon with ease. Of course, I am paraphrasing what this Japanese person is saying. And uh, before we do anything... Uh-oh. Here we have a little character, and it's Wally. Look at that, he has a pretty cool hairdo. Look at that. Oh, so you must be Wally. Yes, yes, okay, so I've been trying to teach you uh, how to capture Pokemon, but I don't have time, so I'm going to send my son to help you capture a Pokemon. So I'm going to lend you a Pokemon, and uh, you be on your way and capture your Pokemon right there. Draven, go ahead and teach this kid how it's done, okay? 
Of course, I only captured one Pokemon in this game. In the other games, I don't even know. Okay, so we're going to be teaching this guy how to capture Pokemon. He's going to be lending him a Zigzagoon right here. And, uh, well... Let's go. Come on. Let's go capture that Pokemon right here. And he's giving him some Pokeballs. Okay, so go off into the next, uh, the grassy area. And this guy looks timid. He looks... Just look at him. He just looks timid and, and scared. Oh, my God. And it, once we, like, once we finally get, like, to the final battles against this guy, you'll see how much confidence he's, uh... He gains after capturing all his Pokemon and all that stuff. So here we are, Route 103 again, and we're going to be teaching this kid how to capture Pokemon. In fact, he's probably going to be teaching us how to capture Pokemon. And uh, would you look at that. First Pokemon he's, he's going to find is a Ralts. Now, here we are in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Zapphire. We've already progressed in a, uh, in a, in a, in a big sense three or four generations now and he's going up against a male Ralts right here oh my god and it all makes sense it really does it all makes sense so here he is just trying to capture this Pokemon right here he's gonna do the best he can by commanding the zigzag going to just tackle him a little more and then after that he's gonna get growled at and all that shit okay alrighty and after that, he's going to try and capture him a Pokeball. So he's going to be using a Pokeball right here. Get that ball. And he's gotten 15 Pokeballs right here. So he's going to throw one. Gee, Dad, why don't you give me 15 Pokeballs? So there it is, guys. A Pokeball right there. One, two, and three. That is how you capture a Pokemon right there. Good for you. Okay. Alrighty. So he's doing a good job. So, he's captured his very, very first Pokemon, and it happens to be a male Ralts. And, uh, now, we're gonna be going straight back to our daddy's place, and, uh, well... You know, I'm just gonna be saying, yeah, dad, he did a good job, you know. He captured himself a pretty good Pokemon. Wish I could've had that Pokemon, but you know what? Trico's all cool and everything. It is what it is. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so, he, he's gonna be happy for us, and... Once we're done with uh, helping him capture a Pokemon, he's going to give us the option right here to actually use the internet now. Finally! And, uh, well... The PSS as well, to trade Pokemon and all that stuff. And, uh, well, this is where we complete our little mission right here. And, uh, well, I'm just going to let him talk right here, yada yada yada. And he's off on his own adventure right here. And I'm going to be talking to my dad right here, and he's like, well, you know what, there are other gym leaders here in Hoenn. Why don't you start with the one in Rustboro City? Once you get four badges, come back to me, and we'll speak a little bit more. That's exactly what he's going to be saying right there. So we're going to be going to Rustboro City first, and then uh, we're going to be kicking your butt, right? Then I take over the gym? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. I want to check out something right here. Uh, yeah, buddy. Player search system. Okay. Okay, I get to press the button right here. Okay, and uh, well, we got a tutorial right here telling us about trading Pokemon, and uh, that is how you do it. Okay, so I'll be right back, guys. You're not gonna want to miss this. Alrighty, so here we are, guys, back into the Pokemon uh, and Pokemon Omega Ruby, and now. We are actually doing this in English. Let me just prove it to you right here. Look at that. Petalburg City, where the people mingle in nature. That's pretty fucking awesome right there, guys. So, what we're going to do right now is we're just going to finish off this whole thing right here by battling a few people, like uh, this girl right here. We haven't even battled her yet uh, in the American version. I just wanted to get this whole, go whole thing going. So, here we have it. I'm going to keep on winning and aim to be the best trainer. Uh, whatever you say, baby. Helps me further in my career. Okay, so here we go. Woo. Okay, so we're battling last Tiana again, and she will be coming out with her Zigzagoon. Well, you guys already know. Sage. Alrighty, Sage of the Halo back here, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot to, well, we did a lot of skipping just to get over here, but as you can see, we're battling this guy again. And, uh, man, does it feel good. Does it feel good just to battle in English right here? It really does. And again, I'm really sorry about the lagginess and all that stuff right here, guys. Eventually, you know, we'll get it all in a very good quality and all that stuff. But this is the first episode. 
So please bear with me right here. So let's go right again. Pound attack for the win. And there you go. No more. And uh, we can look at that level nine. Okay, alrighty. And that was the move that it learned. Quick attack. Alrighty. I ended up furthering your career. Yes, baby, yes you did. Okay, so let's finish off this episode right here on the high note. I know it's a little lagginess and all that stuff, but let's go ahead and grab this. Two orange berries right here. Look at that. Man, again, it feels good just to read it or just to, just to see this all in English. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to let you guys down with this whole, whole thing right here. And, uh, well, let's see. We haven't even battled this guy right here. Let's just sneak right behind him. And talk to this guy. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to be going up against Youngster Allen, and she, he will be coming out with a Puchiena. Okay. Bring it on. Okay, so here we go. And, uh, god dang it. Why are you frozen? Not really. Okay. So here we go. Absorb attack. Again, guys, the lagginess is going to be there. It's going to be there on quite a few episodes. But once I get this all down, it's going to be all good and fine and dandy and all that stuff. So it's, it's better than the Japanese version, I'll tell you that right now. So let's go right ahead and use a quick attack right here. Bam. Quick attack for the win. And there we go. No more Puchiena. Alrighty. And he's going to be coming out with a Taylor. So you know what? Let's go right ahead and use Puchiena right here. Our Puchiena, since it does have an electric type attack. And uh, maybe just maybe I'll learn a, a new move here and there. So here we go, Taylo. And, uh, well, let's go with that Thunderfang. Thunderfang. And that, okay, well, that was, that was, that was pretty much it. Wow, okay, alrighty. <laughs> Puchiana doing his job right here, so. Look at that, he thought he, he, thought he could beat me, but really, he couldn't. Alrighty, so. <laughs> That was the end of that right there, I guess. I don't even know, but uh, it, I guess this is a, a very good start to our whole adventure right here. And, uh, well, ah, oh, crud. Here we have a potion that we forgot to get. And eventually you're going to be hearing a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of Pokemon come out and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see. Oh, there it is. I'm going to... I'm assuming it's a zigzagoon or something, but we're just going to be sneaking up right here just to see what it is. So there we go. And let's see what we found. Oh, a Surskit. Okay. Not much of a Pokemon that I want to have right now. It is. It, it would actually prove useful once you go up into the next gym right here, but, eh, you know, it is what it is right there. So that's one Pokemon you can actually find right there, and, uh, well... I guess that's pretty much it right here for the adventure, and, uh, well, again, the lagginess and all that stuff, but I'm glad that we finished on a high note right here with the uh, English version right here. So, stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. We will be going through a whole bunch of stuff, battling a whole bunch of trainers, and uh, hopefully, you know, make our way all the way through Hoenn, just like, we, uh, just like we're doing right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.